setting up the ZD230 printer. In this video, you will learn how to prepare the ZD230 printer for use. QR codes on the product and the setup guide provide easy access to user documentation, software, and instructional videos. Included items are shown here. Supplies are not included. Go to zebra.com slash supplies to learn about genuine Zebra supplies. Step 1. Install software. Go to zebra.com slash setup. Download and install the printer setup utilities. Step 2. Set up your printer. Refer to the product setup guide while setting up your product. Connect the power cord to an AC power source. Connect the power supply to the printer. Connect a USB cable to the printer. Turn on power. Step 3. Load media. Prepare your supply media. Remove the outside wrap from the media roll to prevent contamination. Place the roll on the holder. Push the media under the guides. Align the sensor near the center, default. Step 4. Load ribbon. Prepare the ribbon by removing the wrapping and pulling the adhesive strip free. Insert the new ribbon roll into the lower ribbon supply spindle. Rotate the roll until the notches align and lock into the left side of the roll core. Install the take-up core into the take-up spindle. Rotate the roll until the notches align and lock into the left side of the roll core. Pull the ribbon leader up and attach it with the adhesive strip on the leader to the empty ribbon core on the take-up spindle. Rotate the take-up spindle until the ribbon is pulled tight across the print head. Close the printer. Step 5. Power on and print. Next, calibrate the product for your media. Press and hold the feed button until the status indicator flashes twice, then release. 1. 1, 2. Release. The printer will feed and measure several labels. Remove the excess media. Print a configuration report. Press and hold the feed button until the status indicator blinks off and on once, then release. 1. Release the feed button. A configuration label is printed. The printer is installed and ready to print. Unpacking and inspecting the printer. Open the packaging. Remove the ribbon cores and ribbon core adapters. Remove the USB cable. Remove the online support resources card. Remove the power supply. Remove the printer. Remove the printer from the bag. Remove the protective tape. Open the printer. Remove the label used in shipping. Close the printer. Save all packing materials if the printer needs to be shipped for service. 
Printer Components In this video, you will learn how to identify the features of the ZD230 printer. Media Feed Button and Status Indicator Fanfold Media Entry Slot USB Port DC Power Receptacle Cover Release Latch Open the printer. Upper media tear, off edge. Roll holders with integrated media guides. Platen roller. Ribbon supply spindles. Ribbon take up spindles. Upper web or gap sensor Movable lower media sensor Default position for continuous and label media Lower media tear off edge Print head Do not touch the print head Static discharge and contaminants, such as dirt and body oils, may damage the print head Close the printer Loading Media In this video, you will learn how to load roll media into the printer. During shipment, the media may become dirty when handled or dusty when stored. Remove the outer wrap from the new media roll to prevent contamination of the printer. Open the printer. Open the media guides. Place the supply media in the roll holder so the printing surface will be up as it passes over the platen. Pull the end of the media out the front of the printer. Press the media down under the media guides. Close the printer. Loading Ribbon in this video, you will learn how to load ribbon into the printer. Open the printer. Remove the used ribbon and spindle. Keep the empty ribbon spindle. The printer needs to use Zebra Uni ribbons, universal ribbon. The printer requires the ribbon roll and empty take-up cores to have notches on the left side. Prepare the ribbon by removing the wrapping and pulling the adhesive strip free. Insert the new ribbon roll into the lower ribbon supply spindle. Rotate the roll until the notches align and lock into the left side of the roll core. Install the take-up core into the take-up spindle. Rotate the roll until the notches align and lock into the left side of the roll core. Pull the ribbon leader up and attach it with the adhesive strip on the leader to the empty ribbon core on the take-up spindle. Rotate the take-up spindle until the ribbon is pulled tight across the print head. Close the printer. Cleaning the print head. In this video, we show how to clean the print head. Open the printer. Use a zebra preventive maintenance cleaning swab or pen to wipe along the brown strip on the print head. Start at the center of the print head and wipe the print head towards each outside edge. You can also use a lint free cloth or swab moistened in 99.7% isopropyl alcohol. Do not use the print head cleaning pen on the platen roller or other printer parts. Allow the solvent to evaporate. Clean the print head whenever you replace the ribbon on a thermal transfer printer, or when you replace the labels on a direct thermal printer. Close the printer. 
we recommend using a Zebra Preventive Maintenance Kit. Cleaning Exterior and Sensors In this video, you will learn how to perform routine cleaning of the printer exterior and sensors. Turn the power off and remove all media. The outside of the printer may be cleaned using solutions common to the healthcare industry, including isopropyl alcohol and water. Open the printer. Clean the media sensors using compressed air. Clean the roll holders and frame using a lint-free cloth or swab moistened in 99.7% isopropyl alcohol. To clean off any adhesive buildup on the media guides, roll holders, and other areas, wipe with a lint-free cloth or swab moistened in 99.7% isopropyl alcohol. Clean the ribs and sensor. Close the printer. Calibrating the sensors. In this video, you will learn how to calibrate the printer. Turn on the printer. Press and hold the feed button until the status indicator flashes twice, then release. 1 1 2 Release the printer will feed and measure several labels. Remove the excess media. Tap the feed button to verify the printer's calibration. A calibrated printer feeds one label per button press. Printing a configuration report. In this video, you will learn how to print a configuration report. Ensure media is loaded, the printer calibrated, and the top cover is closed. Turn on the printer. When the status light is solid green, press and hold the feed button until the status light flashes once, and release it. One, release the feed button. A configuration label is printed. Replacing the platen roller. In this video, you will learn how to replace the platen roller. Open the printer. Release the two bearing retainers and rotate them up. Use the bearing retainers to lift the platen assembly out of the printer. Discard the platen roller assembly. Ensure both bearings are on the platen assembly and facing the right direction. Lower the platen roller assembly into the bottom frame of the printer. Rotate each retainer down until it locks. Close the printer. Cleaning the platen roller. In this video, you will learn how to clean the platen roller. Use a Zebra Preventive Maintenance Cleaning Swab or a lint-free cloth or swab moistened in 99.7% isopropyl alcohol to clean the platen. Open the printer. Release the two bearing retainers and rotate them up. Use the bearing retainers to lift the platen assembly out of the printer. Remove any labels stuck to the platen roller. Clean the platen roller with a Zebra Preventive Maintenance Cleaning Swab or a lint-free cloth or swab moistened in 99.7% isopropyl alcohol to clean the platen. Isopropyl alcohol can thin adhesives and oils without completely removing the debris. Clean the platen roller while turning and moving from end to end. If there has been a label jam or adhesive buildup, repeat the cleaning with a new cloth or swab until all leftover adhesive and debris are removed. Gently rub and blot the debris away with the isopropyl alcohol. Do not scrub the platen. Scrubbing can damage the platen surface. Allow the platen to completely dry. 
lower the platen roller assembly into the bottom frame of the printer. Rotate each retainer down until it locks. Close the printer. Driver installation. In this video, we are installing the USB driver for the ZD888 printer. Download the latest version of Zebra Designer Driver from zebra.com. Find the Zebra Designer Driver installation executable and double click on the file. The Install Aware wizard will display to verify the file contents and start the installation process. On the Welcome to the Zebra Technologies Wizard for Z Designer Windows Printer Driver, click Next. On the Select Destination screen, confirm the file destination and click Next. On the Completing the Zebra Technologies Wizard for Z Designer Windows Printer Driver, click Next. On the Important Information screen, click Next. The Updating Your System screen will display while the driver is installed on your computer. On the Completing the Zebra Technologies Wizard for Z Designer Windows Printer Driver screen, Deselect View Release Notes and click Finish. Pre-install driver package appears, and the drivers are installed on your computer. On the Printer Installation Wizard, click Next. On the Installation Options screen, select Install Printer Driver. On the License Agreement screen, select I accept the terms in the License Agreement, and click Next. On the Select Port screen, select USB Port. The Detect USB Printer screen appears. Plug in your printer by USB and turn on the printer. The printer is automatically detected, and its information appears on the printer options screen. Confirm the printer information and click install. The installing device driver screen appears. On the summary screen, Click Exit, and the driver installation is complete. Repacking your printer for shipment or service. This video will teach you how to repackage your ZD230 printer for shipment. Prepare the packing materials. Open the printer. Place a label over the platen. Close the printer. Wrap the printer in the plastic bag. Place the printer in the box. Place the power supply into the box. Place the accessories into the box. Close the packaging. 